guys, it's Jermaine, a math person. Today I'll be going over question 165 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as if you attended it, let's just dive right in. So they give you this moment generating function for both x and y, and we know that they both have the same moment generating function because they give you, they say it right here, identically dis distributed. And they're both also, also independent, so which is good to know. So then let's just find the moment generating function for one of them, like let's say x. So what's cool about moment generating function is that expectation of x is equal to the first moment of moment generating function evaluated at zero. So knowing that, let's just dive right in. Okay, so I'm actually going to think of this m of t as like 1 minus 1.5 t to the negative 2. So then when I take the derivative, it's going to be negative 2. 1 minus 1.5 t minus 1 times the chain here, so that's going to be negative 1.5. Evaluated at 0. This is exactly just 2 times 1.5, that's 3. Yep, that's just 3. So that's our expectation. How about our second moment? And then cool thing about moment generating function, again, is second moment is just a second derivative equal to 0. So taking the second derivative here, it's going to be equal to um, 2 times negative 3, 1 minus 1.5t, raised to the negative 4th, times negative 1.5, times a positive 1.5 from the previous one here. So then this is equal to 2 times 3 times 1.5 squared. And again, when I plug in 0, this is just 1. So this is equal to 13.5. So then the variance here, variance formula as normal, is equal to the x second moment, ex squared, minus the first moment, squared, 13.5, minus 3 squared, which is equal to 4.5. So then we can also think of this, so then the standard deviation is square root of variance, so this is equal to square root of 4.5. And what are we looking for is we're looking for the standard deviation of x plus standard deviation of y. So this is equal to the square root of the standard deviation square, so that's 4.5 squared, so that's just 4.5, plus same thing, 4.5 squared, because, because they're identically distributed, so they have the same standard deviation. So this invariance, so this is equal to square root of 9, which is equal to 3, our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!